the UN has been calling for a ceasefire with the number of displaced Libyans increasing by the day. CGTN's Yasser Hakim looks at whether foreign powers can stop the war. Fighting has intensified around Tripoli, while arch foes Faisa Sarraj and Khalifa Haftar have been on regional tours in North Africa and Europe to garner international support. The European Union is divided over Libya. The UK and Italy are backing the Tripoli government, while France is supporting the LNA for its crackdown on terrorism. The US is the same, but they are all united in the fear that this war could spill over the region. The European Union and North Africa want to avert an influx of migrants or militants from Libya, while the UN and Arab League's calls for a political solution have fallen on deaf ears. We all want a political solution, but this will not be achieved except after disarming the militias that are controlling cities in Libya. That's why the army insists on entering Tripoli to rid it from the militants. How can you have elections and a constitution while the streets are run by armed extremist groups? In spite of the international community's efforts to stop the war, the Libyan National Army has shown no signs of a ceasefire and that they are adamant to continue the war until Tripoli is freed. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.